Hi, I'm Jeanette Lee, the Black Widow, and I want to talk to you about aiming when you're playing pool. A lot of times people miss by hitting the ball too full when they're trying to cut a ball. That means a more severe angle. So I wanted to show you some examples of why, of what, why I think people miss these. If I want to shoot this cue ball into the eight to make it, I picture and imagine what we call a ghost ball, an imaginary ball. That's where the cue ball needs to end up. So I'm going to shoot it and I'm going to get this cue ball to end up where this cue ball is to strike the eight ball on the hole. So a lot of times people are aiming right here. Well that is the contact point. That's where the cue ball must contact the eight in order to go in. But what people don't understand is that the contact point and the aiming point are not necessarily the same. And what I mean by that is if you aim on this straight line from the cue ball to the eight ball, you're going to make the eight ball in the corner pocket. But when you have more of an angle, you have to aim the cue ball to always travel through where this imaginary ball is, right here. So let's say if I do that, there's a spot right here. This is where you're aiming through. This is where the cue ball is aiming through in order to strike the eight ball there. Now this point, the center of that imaginary ball, and this point are very different. Now on the same line, it's still on the same plane. But the more the angle, the more severe the difference. So for example, here, the difference between the contact point and the aiming point is a half ball. So it's huge. It's that much different. And so this is like a 16th ball hit, an eighth ball hit, this would be a half ball hit, meaning the cue ball kind of eclipses the eight ball at a half ball. You're aiming at the edge of the ball. So what I would recommend is get used to, especially in cut shops, understanding that the center of this has to go through the center of a ghost ball. And so if the cue ball needs to contact the eight, it has to travel this way and understand that this edge of the ball needs to strike the eight ball to make it in the side pocket, this edge, not the center of this ball, because the center of the ball will put you right there and you're going to miss the ball. So in closing, I wanted to repeat again, when you're aiming at an object ball into a pocket, you line up where you want the eight ball to go, from the eight ball into that pocket, and you, pe you picture the cue ball where you want the cue ball to strike the eight ball to go in the pocket, a straight line. And then whether you're straight or you have more of an angle, aim through the center of the ghost ball and understand that the more of an angle, the more the difference is, so more of the side of your cue ball will actually strike the eight. So practice this at home and I would even set this up and get behind each one of these balls to kind of picture and see, all right, how would I aim? And what does this look like? And it's pretty interesting, but it's a lot of fun. So keep practicing and I'll see you on the table.